Hey everybody, I hope you're having a good day. Today we're going to go over one of my favorite play styles that I'm going to call the wall. The best classes to play using this play style are the guardian, the engineer, and the man at arms. Now you can use any class or weapon to utilize this play style, but I just find that the guardian is the most effective defensive class in the game, so that is what we're going to be going over today. And here are the weapons that are the most effective for this play style as well. For this playstyle, you're acting as the king of the objective. You want to be using very high damage one-handed weapons, and your job is going to be to punish anybody who's foolish enough to approach your objective. You're also going to be holding out on the front lines with your extra health that you have from the heavy shield until your team can swoop in and assist you. And you're also going to be strategically placing banners so that your team can stay alive as long as possible. Now this playstyle is not foolproof, there are definitely some weaknesses to it, so here's a couple weaknesses. You have a very big lack of mobility with this playstyle. If you're playing as a uh, guardian, you have slower movement speed than other classes and that it's gonna, that's going to affect the way that you are able to take 1vx situations. The biggest problem you're going to face is getting surrounded and killed, so you need to be very mindful of this and you need to try to keep all of your targets in front of you and you're mainly going to be wanting to keep your interactions to one target at a time or two at max three targets are usually going to be able to surround and kill you so another weakness this playstyle has is getting greedy if you're using these short one-handed weapons and you don't have a lot of movement speed already you're not going to be able to go and chase people down and finish them off it's going to be very dangerous if you try to do this if you land an attack that does cause the enemy to retreat from the objective, then congratulations, you're, you're succeeding in your role as the king of the objective here. You want to keep enemies away from the objective at all costs. Even if you don't end up getting a kill, causing them to retreat and run away and heal is a success in my book. Now here are some of the strengths. You don't need to counter everything. And I know some people, especially the console players, you guys have a lot of problems with countering. And even some PC players have problems countering. But if you're using the heavy shield, you have an extra 400 health. And the smaller weapons, they have shorter counter windows. So I'm going to encourage you guys that if you're going to be trying out this playstyle with the Guardian class, you can repost a little more. You can hold block a little bit more. Still don't drain your stamina or anything, but you can block and use that extra health to your advantage. You don't have to counter every single attack, which is going to make this playstyle pretty good for you newer players. Another strength that this has is that you have very high damage weapons that will damage the enemy's health and stamina a lot. If you're excelling your attacks and your enemy is not able to counter the attacks, uh, their stamina is going to drain very quickly and they're not going to have any other option than to take your hammer to the face. If you're using the war hammer, which I am here today, it's my favorite weapon for this uh, playstyle. You should be one-shotting pretty much any damaged enemy and two-shotting full health knights, which is really going to make people think twice before pushing into you, and that's what you're going to be looking to do. You want to punish people for trying to push into you. The Guardian does very well at this. People should not be trying to engage you in 1v1 situations because you have the definite advantage. Now we're going to go look into some situations in this gameplay, and I'm going to show you some examples of what I'm talking about here. Here we go with our first situation. I'm kind of strolling the perimeter of the objective, which is fine. You don't have to stay directly on the objective. We notice that guy and we just ignore him because he's not important. And now we come up on these two guys. What you're going to see here is that I'm not letting them bait me off the objective. In fact, I'm pulling them into the objective so that my team can deal with them and I don't have to deal with both of them myself. That guy gets taken out by an archer. And then me and the engineer, both using the same kind of play style here, we successfully dissuade him from entering our little area on the objective and we force him to run away like a little coward, which is exactly what you're trying to do here. You want to be able to get people discouraged from pushing into you. Coming up here is just an example of good banner placement. When you're placing banners, you don't want them to be too far out in the open or you don't want them to be too far pushed up towards the enemy. You want them kind of near the objective or behind some walls or some poles, anything that can hide them. Um, this place where I put them right here, it's going to be very hard for them to get to it because they have to push more towards our spawn past these engineer walls. And uh, it's going to be pretty relatively safe and help our team for a good amount of time. I want you to notice in these next engagements that I never overextend my position. 
I help my team clear out the enemies who are near the objective. And when, when I notice somebody trying to plant the bomb, I get them off the objective and make sure that they can't get close to it again. I only ever end up retreating when I get lit on fire. I want you to notice here that even though I see a ton of enemies in the middle of this objective area, I don't actually ever try to chase after any of them and I wait until they try to push into our objective before I activate. Almost like, think of it like I'm a Dark Souls boss just waiting for someone to trigger my aggro. I, I'm, I wait patiently for them to approach my little area and I go after them as hard as I can. Here you're going to see one of the main things you need to look out for and that is getting hit from behind. This class really struggles with getting hit from behind. You're very strong from the front but your weapon does not uh, reach around you very well so it's going to be hard for you to get those people. Coming up here you're going to notice that I'm on the objective minding my own business fighting some guy trying to hold off the enemy but then I see a couple of my teammates behind me start getting pushed by the enemy. Uh, you're mainly going to be a support Type player with this playstyle, if you see your teammates having a lot of trouble getting the finishing blow, your weapon, your one-handed high power weapon is very good at finishing fights fast, so you're going to want to help them finish those fights. Right after we clear out the riffraff here, uh, it's, the middle of this objective is completely clear. They have a pretty good push on the right side, but none of them are watching their backs. And, and with any class, this isn't just for the Guardian, but this is just a perfect uh, opportunity to get a bunch of kills by people who aren't looking. So even though you're playing this specific playstyle, uh, if you come across a situation like this, you'd be stupid not to take advantage of it. Unfortunately, guys, it looks like we're coming up at the end of this game here. I hope you enjoyed my guide on the playstyle for the wall. Very defensive playstyle, and I hope it helps you guys a lot on defense. And if you enjoyed this, I hope I earned your subscription today. So like, comment, subscribe, you know the deal. Uh, it looks like I ended this game 27-3, and three, just playing a very defensive, objective-oriented playstyle. Um, so it's not impossible to get a high score like this, even if you're just sitting on the objective, guys. It's very simple. That's all I got for you guys today. Have a good one. Peace out.